Welcome to Apipedia QChat Discussion 2016. Today we'll be taking issues from economics that have contemporary relevance. We'll be taking up issues from financial sector, monetary sector, banking sector, external sector, inflation, national income accounting front, twin deficits and NPAs which have this year which have this year changed the economic scenario and put Indian economy on a fast growing uh, trajectory. The basic uh, purpose I guess is uh, to highlight all the issues in one video so that you don't have to waste your time. I know it's very precious near the exam. So uh, sir, what are the issues basically that we want to highlight this time? I think the major issue is demonetization okay. which recently happened. Okay. I think we should discuss this, this issue firstly. Right. And connect the demonetization to the fiscal policy, yes. monetary policy, the inflation management, yes, yes, as well as the banking sector reforms, yes. Yes. So I guess uh, what I would like to do is uh, combine all these topics into one discussion, okay. so that you can uh, utilize the same discussion in your question answering needs. Yes. 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 So, uh, uh, Vishalji, the thing is that uh, demonetization is just the uh, you know recent measure taken up of a long strategy. That's what I always feel. Because in India, what is happening right now is, see, money is the basic thing which runs the economy worldwide. Now, money has linkages to the fiscal policy, monetary policy, inflation, banking, and everywhere, internally as well as externally. So internally, every country prints currency based upon its GDP, based upon whatever gold it's holding, mm -hmm. because gold is the international standardized currency. Now, up till 1977, Smithsonian Agreement, mm -hmm. dollar was the base of every currency, but after that it is gold now. Yes, yes? gold standardization is working. Now, based upon that gold standard, every country prints about 14% uh, of its uh, gold, 14% yeah, of its GDP into currency. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, this currency which is there in India, out of that 86% is 500 and 1000 rupee notes. Yes, now, we have seen that in Indian economy, about 5 lakh crore rupees always stays outside the system, yes, and about uh, 7 to 8 lakh crore rupees stays inside the system, means it is accounted for, yes. yes. This unaccounted money is called basically black money, black money. Yes? yes, it is never there in the ITRs, it is not found anywhere. Mm -hmm. So this black money, it has many problems, you know, parallel economy. Mm -hmm. um, it has benefits also, for example, while all the world was going through financial crisis, India did not have much. Because the black money was sustaining the demand, yes? No. But this demand leads to a very high current account deficit also. Because whatever India is producing, GDP, it's mm -hmm. not actually reflecting in our GDP also. Mm -hmm. yes? yes? So it is only reflecting in our current account deficit, year on year basis. Im because of rising import needs, such people who have black money, they will be always consuming luxury items, mm -hmm. yes? And based upon that, those luxury item kind of consumption, mm -hmm. your import needs will keep on increasing. So current account deficit will keep on increasing yes, yes. and the government will always be blamed for it. Yeah. Yes. So I guess the government in the first way try to devalue the money. Mm -hmm. Yes. That devaluation of currency leads to a kind of lesser import bill. Okay. Yes. Because now a person who wants dollar ki value to wahi jo bhi cheez aari the person who now wants to utilize the same thing has to pay more of his currency, mm -hmm. which he is holding as black money. Yeah. It's the first control measure. But this control measure could not work for a very long period. Mm -hmm. We tried and devaluation took to the extent of 68 rupees to a dollar. Yeah. yeah. Now this is a bedrock, you know, you cannot go further below. Okay. Because this can be uh, challenged by uh, sterilization also by other yeah. countries. Yes. So what should be the main points we can write in Bain's exam? So, in the demonetization. Yes, in the main exam, we have to see how the financial sector and the fiscal sector are merging in the both. Because in the financial sector, we have agents of production, primary, secondary, tertiary, and consumption. Now, the consumer is sitting on both sides. One is sitting on a white economy and a black economy. So, there is no issue of demonetization of the white people, and the black people want to create issue of the black people. So, parallel economy, ko pehle to humne isko rokne ke liye demonetization step liya for higher currency notes. Demonetization doesn't mean that we money utilization ban kar de, economy. Mm -hmm. It is just that it's a discontinuation of higher currency notes of 500 and 1000 value. Reason for that is that it should cover higher ground. 86% of our currency valuation is that, so we are removing that currency. Okay. Basic reason for this is there is a lot of duplicate currency, which you should reflect on your answer. Out of this duplicate currency, only a lot of problem created like terror funding. Mm -hmm. 
जे एंड के में अभी जैसे स्टोन पेल्टिंग कम हो गया बिकॉज उनकी वो फंडिंग बंद हो गई है ना तो ये वाले सारे इश्यूज उससे कब होते हैं ड्रग ट्रैफिकिंग के लिए करप्शन के लिए बहुत सारा ये वाला पैसा ब्लैक मनी वाला यूज होता है पॉलिटिकल जो करप्शन हाँ, भी इम्प्रूव कर पॉलिटिकल इलेक्शंस के टाइम पे भी ये मसल पावर मनी पावर ऑलवेज रिफ्लेक्टेड रहता है तो इलेक्टोरल रिफॉर्म्स भी इससे होते हैं तो इसका डायमेंशन इकोनॉमिक पॉलिटिकल एंड सोशल तीनों ही तीनों ही तीनों ही डायमेंशन हमने कवर करना है फिर जो इसका इकोनॉमिक एस्पेक्ट जो सबसे इम्पोर्टेंट वो ये है कि फिजिकल पॉलिसी मैनेजमेंट में जो एफ आर बी एम एक्ट की हम हमेशा से बात करते हैं फिजिकल रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी एंड बजट मैनेजमेंट तो वो गवर्नमेंट तो कम स्पेंड कर रहा था इतने सालों से कुछ खास स्पेंडिंग नहीं है हमारा बजट का साइज हमारे पॉपुलेशन साइज के हिसाब से कुछ भी नहीं है है ना तो उस हिसाब से देखा जाए तो उसके अंदर एक मैचिंग अब आ पाएगी क्योंकि नाउ गवर्नमेंट विल नॉट हैव टू बॉर्डर अबाउट मोनेटाइजेशन ऑफ फिजिकल डेफिट इवन इफ इट वॉन्ट्स टू क्रिएट इट है ना तो वो वाला इश्यू एक हम कर कर पाएंगे दूसरा मॉनेटरी पॉलिसी के अंदर भी हमने देखा कि ट्रांसमिशन नहीं हो रही थी वो भी इसी के साथ हम लिंक कर सकते हैं कि मॉनिटरी पॉलिसी कमिटी हैज बिन फर्स्ट स्टेप टू लिंक फिजिकल पॉलिसी एंड इन्फ्लेशन मैनेजमेंट थ्रू आर बी आई बैंक यस सो अभी ये मनी सप्लाई के बारे में इनको बहुत ज्यादा चिंता करने की जरूरत नहीं पड़ेगी एक्चुअल मनी सप्लाई कंट्रोल हैज ऑलरेडी हैपन थ्रू डिमोनिटाइजेशन Now RBI can bring in fresh currency without worrying too much about inflation. See, in the first uh, first week only, mm-hmm. we have witnessed that the inflation has come down. Yes. Petrol and diesel prices have been reduced again recently. Mm-hmm. Recently, mm-hmm. yes. So, ये सारी चीजें अब आपको economy को आगे बढ़ने में help करेंगी और एक cumulative frame of reference बन जाएगा. तो आप fiscal policy management, inflation management, monetary policy management, as well as banking sector. हम पहले तो बात कर रहे थे कि एनपीएस बहुत क्रिएट हो गए बैंक्स के अंदर क्योंकि ट्विन डेफिसिट वाला एक प्रॉब्लम चल रहा था ट्विन डेफिसिट इज द बैलेंस शीट प्रॉब्लम विद द कॉर्पोरेट्स एंड द एसेट वैल्यू डेप्रिसिएशन ऑन द बैंक्स तो दोनों तरफ डेफिसिट आ रहे थे है ना तो ये ट्विन डेफिसिट प्रॉब्लम को उन्होंने एड्रेस कर लेंगे बिकॉज सबका व्हाइट में आ जाएगा टैक्सेशन वाली प्रॉब्लम भी सेट हो जाएगी शायद बैंकिंग सेक्टर में कुछ और रिफॉर्म्स भी लेके आए फॉर एग्जांपल इन द धनुष हां इन द धनुष हैज बीन अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक सो एक क्यूमुलेटिव गवर्नेंस रिफॉर्म्स दिख रहे हैं मनी को लेके वो बैंकिंग के ऊपर भी काम कर रहे हैं इन द धनुष के फॉर्मेट में वो फाइनेंशियल सेक्टर में काम कर रहे हैं एफआरबीएम के ऊपर नया मोमेंटम बन रहा है है ना वी हैव रिसेंटली हैव अ कमेटी ऑन दैट देन हम मॉनेटरी पॉलिसी के ऊपर भी काम कर रहे हैं क्योंकि एमपीसी बन गया एक क्यूमुलेटिव स्ट्रक्चर तो एक एक कॉम्प्रिहेंसिव रिफॉर्म है मनी मैनेजमेंट को लेके इंडियन इकोनॉमी के अंदर क्या जीएसटी के साथ इसको लिंक कर सकते हैं बिल्कुल जो फिजिकल पॉलिसी है वो हमारी अब इस तरह से चल रही है कि टैक्सेशन को डायरेक्ट और इनडायरेक्ट दोनों तरफ से रिफॉर्म कर रहे हैं इनडायरेक्ट टैक्सेस सारे के सारे जीएसटी के थ्रू आ गए डायरेक्ट टैक्सेस हो सकता है आगे जाके इनकम टैक्स रह ही ना हम बैंकिंग ट्रांजेक्शन में अगर सारा पैसा ले आए तो आगे जाके सिर्फ बैंकिंग ट्रांजेक्शन टैक्स रह जाए जैसे कि बाकी सारी डेवलप कंट्रीज के अंदर This is uh, possible only if we move towards a cashless society. When all transactions yes. are in white money, mm-hmm. there is introduction of plastic money mm-hmm. via uh, cards, via wallets. I was reading today that in the Netherlands, there are 92% of people who have cards, debit card or credit card. So, there is no more transaction through that. So, if you look at India, it's a little bit different. 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 क्योंकि डीमोनेटाइजेशन हो गया तो जो भी पैसे बाहर निकलेंगे या अंदर जाएंगे तो हर एक के पास पता है सिर्फ 14 परसेंट जो छोटी करेंसी में है है ना तो वो रह गया जो हमारा भी ट्रैक नहीं है और वो बहुत माइनर राइट मतलब छोटी करेंसी वाला जो 500 हंड्रेड वन थाउजेंड करेंसी नोट छोड़ गए है ना तो एटलीस्ट दैट मच ट्रैकिंग इज नाउ अवेलेबल टू द गवर्नमेंट है ना तो दैट शुड समराइज द पार्ट वन ऑफ द क्वेश्चन तो इन सब इश्यूज को इंटीग्रेट करते हुए कुछ चीजों का ध्यान रखना चाहिए कि आप इकोनॉमी का आंसर आपका इकोनॉमी का आंसर लगे ये ना लगे कि बहुत जनरल सेंस से लिख दिया या बहुत न्यूज मीडिया से प्रभावित लिख दिया तो कुछ उसमें इकोनॉमिक टर्म्स रिफ्लेक्ट होनी चाहिए जैसे कि कोई इन्फ्लेशन टारगेटिंग के लिए हमारा सीपीआई है है ना या फिर वर्ल्ड बैंक की क्या कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन है या जी डी पी जी एन पी ये वाली कुछ फिगर्स कुछ फैक्ट फिगर्स जैसे एटी सिक्स परसेंट हम बात करते हैं फाइव हंड्रेड एंड वन थाउजेंड करेंसी तो ये कुछ आने चाहिए उसके अंदर है ना yes. ताकि लगे पढ़ने वाले एग्जामिनर को कि यस दीज आर इकोनॉमिक और इकोनॉमिक सर्वे का भी हम यहाँ पे यूज कर सकते हैं बिल्कुल तो बहुत ज्यादा बेनिफिशियल होगा विद दीज रिफॉर्म्स इंडिया का जो जीडीपी कैलकुलेशन है दैट विल आल्सो गो अप 
Hmm. Yes. And then once that goes up, India will uh, move towards being a regional power. Yes. yes. Regional economic power. Yes. So I guess this is the part one of the discussion. Yes. Part two, I want to take it a little further. I want to take agents of production. तो एग्रीकल्चर इंडस्ट्री और सर्विसेज इनके बारे में सबसे ज्यादा क्या इंपॉर्टेंट न्यूज रही इस बार तो एग्रीकल्चर के अंदर जैसे फार्मर सुसाइड बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है जीएम मॉडिफाइड जो जेनेटिकली मॉडिफाइड सीड्स और इसमें एक मोनोपोलाइजेशन ऑफ सीड वैराइटीज जैसे मोनसेंटो माइको काइशुरा उन्होंने अभी बीटी कॉटन का वेरिएशन 2 जो है वो इंडिया में इंट्रोड्यूस नहीं कर रहे हैं है ना क्योंकि हमने पेटेंट राइट्स को उनके नहीं माना इंडस्ट्री के अंदर इंडिया का बहुत स्ट्रेंथ अभी बूस्ट कर रहे हैं वो है ना मेक इन इंडिया स्टार्टअप इंडिया स्किल इंडिया मिशन So, one way the brand is promoting. So, these issues will be very important. In the services sector, the services sector's contribution towards India's economy, the structural bias that we have, right? So, that's a very important thing. Why is it like this and what can it be? What can it be boosted? What can it be industry boosted? What can it be just one thing? What can it be agriculture to connect with industry? Like food processing industries. In the Yojana, this has been highlighted a lot of times. तो ये एग्रीकल्चर इंडस्ट्री और सर्विसेज इसके ऊपर अभी कौन कौन से इश्यूज को कैसे हैंडल करना है सो फार्मर सुसाइड लेट्स टेक अप फर्स्ट इश्यू सो हाउ शुड वी हैंडल दिस वन फार्मर जनरली कमिट सुसाइड बिकॉज दे आर अनेबल टू गेट अ ऑप्टिमम वैल्यू फॉर देयर प्रोडक्ट ओके नाउ इज इट अ रीजन फॉर सुसाइड डायरेक्ट टू आई मीन यस बिकॉज व्हेन दे टेक अप लोन्स टू प्रोड्यूस दिस हार्वेस्ट एंड दे आर अनेबल टू सेल इट इन टाइम टू द राइट पर्सन गेटिंग द राइट मनी दैट गोस वेस्ट Okay. And they are unable to pay their debts back. Mm -hmm. Now, because of surfacey, when the, the recovery agents come, they harass them. Mm -hmm. so in order to avoid such harassment and social stigma, mm -hmm. they commit suicides. So it is both economic and social. social. Okay. Any political factors for that? Uh, it is a uh, del poor delivery of uh, banking sector that causes and maybe pilferages okay. in between. I think lack of political will. Further, I would like to add कि इसमें ना हमारी जो institutional credit है farming sector को वो अभी भी कम है हमारा 50 percent अगर मान के चले तो institutional credit है और बाकी सब money lenders और इन सब के ऊपर वो depend करता है और जिनका rate of interest 26 percent 30 percent बहुत है and overall ही अगर देखा जाए तो agriculture में जो access to credit है वो ही 50 percent के पास है बाकियों के पास तो collateral नहीं होता तो access to credit भी नहीं होता और because of their marginal farm size you have only 1.2 acres average farm size in India, right? Yes. So based upon that, it's very difficult for a farmer to generate enough credit mm -hmm. so that he can do sustainable farming over a long period of time. Yes. And mm -hmm. secondly, uh, sir, uh, next issue is high yielding variety of seeds yeah. and Monsanto Mahiko issue. Yes. So I think we should back that issue in India, what kind of issue is Monsanto Mahiko? Monsanto and Mahiko, when they introduce these new seeds, now these seeds, in order to uh, flower, mm. they needed uh, some uh, chemical. Mm. Now that also was being sold at a at a prohibitive cost. Mm -hmm. so farmers could not get access to it. Mm. So this kind of creates a monopoly by these uh, MNCs, mm. which is detrimental to the India ke poor farmers hai, who have small fa martial farmers holding only one less than one hectare of land. Okay, but I think this issue is debatable whether GM crops are beneficial or harmful. That debate continues all the mm -hmm. time because uh, there will always be localization versus globalization. Yes, yes. This debate has multiple pro proportions, mm -hmm. right? But world over, we have proven that any kind of genetic modification, unless and until field trials are there mm -hmm. in a proper manner, three years, for example, in deck in the framework, hai, mm -hmm. to you not do it. So, if the field trials are okay, if they are consumable, hai, so I guess that is a better answer for whatever we need because population wise अगर देखा जाए 7.5 billion की तरफ हम बढ़ रहे हैं और बड़ी जल्दी 10 तक पहुंच जाएंगे तो general methods of food production will not be able to sustain the food necessities that we have in future so sustainability with respect to food security it will require genetically modified solutions that is necessary secondly I would like to add that as global warming continues our production belts will shift towards temperate regions yes and that would affect India adversely mm -hmm. because India is still an agrarian economy. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. And therefore, genetic modification is also more important. Yes. Okay. 
So next issue I would like to take up is uh, this uh, industrial sector within which we are trying to have a lot of impetus right now from the government part. Mm -hmm. Skill India, just like Deen Dayal Upadhyay, Shramev Jayate, yes, you know, yes. And uh, Make in India, mm -hmm. Startup India, all these things. Like uh, Abhimanyu has also started AIC yes, Mantra for yeah. that, yes. So venture capital funding, mm -hmm. angel investments, all kind of uh, aspects are being taken up here in mm -hmm. industry. So I guess right now India is refocusing upon the industrial sector right after the second five year plan. This is the second uh, essential boost which industrial sector required because of a lot of structural bias in our economy, right? It was shifting more towards the services sector yes. dependency. Will it be better for India, hmm. which is the service sector the inclination or? Uh, sir, the uh, production base in the industrial sector, the mm -hmm. so, client base is available. Hai na? Aap industrial product hai, jase fans and tube lights are world over requirement hai, mm -hmm. aap country ko sell karne mein aapko hai. Mm -hmm. Jo services based solution hai, uski brand building hamesha aapki country mein pehle hoti hai, aur bahar aap usko baad mein sakta. Ab jase Hayat Regency hai, hai na? hotel chain hai, ya JW Marriott hai. Pehle inki brand building India mein hogi, fir ye bahar apna project page paayenge, hai na? Jase Indian Airlines hai, services sector hai, Infosys hai, mm -hmm. Wipro hai. These brands will be established in their own economy and to establish them, first of all, they will be consumer base in our economy. Mm -hmm. Now, if you look at a scenario in developing countries, then we can't make a lot of brands in the services sector. Ah, Because our economic strength is not so strong. If the government pushes in the industrial sector, then the requirement of these things is very high in the world over market. And accordingly, it's very uh, easy for us to have market access to the world. Yeah, Modi is also promoting it, right? Now. Yeah, and secondly, why we are uh, emphasizing so much on industrial sector is that mm -hmm. our uh, sectoral contribution of industry has been very low and stagnant at mm -hmm. 25%. Ah, index of industrial production negative yeah, 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 close to 1%. Mm -hmm. And India is still to uh, command a good base in capital goods sector, yeah. which will fuel its industrial sector. Yeah. And industrial sector has a lot of potential to absorb unskilled and semi-skilled laborers who are employed currently in agriculture sector as disguisedly employed people. Yes, yes, yes. yes. So this will and I guess Skill India Mission will try to bridge that gap, that they can come to the industrial sector. Mein aa sake yes. So shouldn't we focus on agriculture because more than 50% people are dependent on agriculture? See, agriculture or industry ke andar just ban rahe. Abhi Niti Aayog ne ek recently ek survey ko point out kiya hai. Ek NGO hai Lok Niti. Mm -hmm. To uska survey aaya ki 76% of farmers uh, are not uh, you know Marshall. so much into farming mm -hmm. now. They would want to shift out of agriculture. So there is a negative sentiment prevailing within the farming community. Okay. So first off, to cure this negative sentiment, I guess we can connect agriculture and industry. Mm -hmm. So like food processing industry hai. So if it is a bridging industry, it can be used to forward-backward linkages. Ban sakte hai. So in agriculture, mein bhi production will be a positive uh, outlook in the mm -hmm. farming community. Now there is a negative uh, ye outlook. Hai. Uh, Arvind Panagari went on to say that we cannot depend upon the farm sector for generating uh, sustainable employment in India. It has to be built upon industrial and services sector. Mm -hmm. And within industry and services sector also, I guess uh, the health sector, IT sector, retailing, and uh, infrastructure. In sub me sabse zada dam hai aaj jobs generate karne ke liye. Aur agar in sectors ko agriculture ke saath kisi tarah se link kiya ja sake, to forward backward linkages se hum pure economic structure ko balance kar sakte hain. Okay, I'd like to add an example. Ji. Ek baar on the farmer a farmer was interviewed. He he used to grow potatoes. He said ki when I sell one kg potato for eight eight rupees, but when we go to the market and buy chips, we get chips. 250 grams for say 40 rupees. Okay. Value addition. Value yes. addition. Yeah. So, if mm -hmm. commercialization of agriculture can take place, mm -hmm. wherein benefits are trickled down to the farmers. Uh -huh. So, benefits of value addition yes. can be shifted to the farm, yes. actual producer. Yes. Okay. So, that kind of linkages yeah. can be built. Yeah. 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 IT sector, retail, all, all of them can help in yes. this linkages. Yes. One more thing. In, there is a see, occupation structure and there is a structure of economy. Mm -hmm. India's occupation structure right now is 50% people are working in agriculture, agriculture. yes, then 50% are working in secondary and tertiary sector. As far as contribution to economy is there, our structure is similar to the developed country structure right now. Problem is that 50% of people are generating only 17% of the GDP, yes, and the rest 50% in secondary and tertiary sector generate the other 
83%, right? So this imbalance can be corrected only if you build better linkages within the economy. And I guess uh, that should conclude. Yes. Would you like to add something? Sir, I feel that it sums up the discussion. All right. So all the best for your mains preparation. Uh, do uh, log into the Abhipedia section on uh, our website abhimanyusis.com. So thank you so much. Stop.